Modeling defines the shape of an object, and lighting helps to reveal its form. Textures, or materials as Cinema 4D calls them, reveal the substance of an object. Everything in our world is made up of different sorts of stuff, or materials. This bucket, for example, is made up of plastic and some sort of metal. This, even though I'm not sure what it is, I can tell is metallic. And without having to touch it, I know that this parking structure is mostly made of concrete. Some textures are made up of multiple surfaces, like this peeling paint where we see both the paint and the wood below it. And we're able to distinguish between these two materials based on the ways that they impact the light that hits them. The paint is a little bit shinier, and the wood is more diffuse. Our goal in this course will be to attempt to accurately represent these different substances so that our viewers can identify objects and what they're made of. In an animation, we can use movement and sound to help evoke the thingness of a thing. But with still images, we're limited to representing different materials using visual appearance alone. Take this teapot with tea, for example. We can take a simple teapot model in CG and apply a glass texture to it. We can then take that model and fill it with a liquid and use a very similar material, but slightly tweaked, in order to make it look like it's full of tea. All of these images were created using the same base model, but they all appear to be made of vastly different substances. This is the power of materials. Materials are one of the primary tools that we have in computer graphics in order to create a sense of reality. And as you can see how this single teapot has been transformed, it's easy to make the case that materials might be the most important element.